let's look at these two questions uh, two questions on graphing a straight line okay so the first equation is uh, 4y minus 2x is equal to 8 I'll show you how to graph this in two different ways uh, I call the two different ways is uh, intercept method or intercept intercept method so let me I have used uh, I have named this myself probably uh, this you may not see in any book intercept intercept method and uh, in the, this is famous of course the gradient intercept method gradient gradient intercept method okay so these are the two methods and of course uh, then we'll check this on a graphic calculator okay so intercept intercept method is where you find now to draw a straight line you need only two points okay uh, if you have two points you can find the or you can draw the line and now this is equation or this equation is the equation of a line so let me write the equation again so 4y minus 2x is equal to 8 so we ask the question how do we find the x intercept okay so the x intercept is when y is equal to 0 x intercept is where the graph cuts the x axis so if you set y is equal to 0 you can say 4 times 0 minus 2x is equal to 8. So minus 2x is equal to 8 is equal to 8. Okay, so you can say 2x is equal to minus 8. So x is equal to minus 4. So for this, uh, for this equation, your x intercept is minus 4 if you don't want to do the whole step when when is x intercept how do you get x intercept when y is 0 so when y is 0 this whole thing is 0 so minus 2x is equal to 8 okay now same weight for the y intercept so let me write the steps so for the y intercept what should be 0 for x intercept y is 0 for y intercept so x has to be 0 so i'll do in short now if x is 0 this whole thing will become 0 so i can say directly 4y is equal to 8 so y is equal to 2 so your y intercept is 2 here so y intercept is 2 that means this is where your graph cuts the y axis and then it's simple you join these two points and this is the equation of the line so i have to do i'll slightly move this okay so this is the equation of y is equal to uh, i hope you understand what i'm doing okay so this is the equation of y is equal to of 4y minus 2x is equal to 8. When you have equation like this, it is better to do this way, to do in this method. Now, if you want to do in the second method, you can write this. I'll write it here. Okay, so the same equation, let me write the equation again. 4y minus 2x is equal to 8. So I'm going to make y the subject. So 4y is equal to 2x plus 8. So dividing by 4. So if you divide this, this by 4, so you can divide all by 4. So now equation is y is equal to 2, 2 over 4 is half x plus 2. So this is called the gradient intercept method, where this is your y intercept this this is your y intercept y intercept and half is your gradient this is your gradient and you should know the formula of gradient which is rise over 
run. Now, how do you graph this? So, in this method, you start with from the y, that's the starting point. So, you start at the y intercept, which is 2 here. Okay? And then you have a gradient of 1 over 2, that means you rise. So, let me write the gradient. Gradient is 1 over 2. That means for a run of 2, you have to you have to rise 1. Okay, so the top number, the top number tells you the rise, and the bottom number tells you the run. So this is your run, and this is your rise. That means for every run of 2, you have to rise 1. So what do you do? From here, you run 2, so this is 1, two and this so this will be point okay so let me delete this this is difficult because oh, so if you it should go like this okay it should go point should go like this I can't move this properly okay so yeah this is same thing or if you go backwards uh, for the uh, you can also go backwards or let me use the arrow key for the run of two so this is the run of two you have to rise one okay again if you let me delete this if you want to plot the next point you have to go again if you want to plot the next point you run two and rise one can you see the next point okay it's not very clear uh, let me extend this graph so if we extend it well, I'll show one more point so for the run of two you have to rise one so this is called the gradient intercept method and these are the points so this is one point you start here this is the next point this is the next point and this is the next point so this is how you can graph it okay for the sec for the second question okay the same method the method is I'll do in short now to find the x-intercept uh, what you do is you set or you make y is equal to 0 so if you say y is equal to 0 this whole thing becomes oh sorry for the x-intercept, for the x-intercept, your y becomes zero. So this whole thing, this whole thing becomes zero. So you can say 3x is equal to 6. So x is equal to 2. Okay, sorry. x is equal to 2. I'm trying to rush. So you make mistakes. x is equal to 2. So this is one point. And for the y-intercept, for the y-intercept, your x is equal to 0. Okay, so let me again bring back the green color. That means here, now, your x has become 0. So this whole thing becomes 0. So you can say 2y is equal to 6. So y is equal to 3. So this line has a negative gradient. So let me draw, uh, let me use, uh, say this arrow, blue. This is bothering me. I've used a program of smart board, which is not really helpful because it's getting disturbed. Okay, I should have used a simple graph paper. So, okay, so this is your line. Okay, so here, if you look at it in a different way, if you want to see what's the y-intercept, here the y-intercept, I'm trying to explain this in a diff uh, the next equation in a different way, the y-intercept is 3, and what's the gradient? So let me show you the gradient in a different way. This is your run, and this is your rise. Okay, so your run this is your run which is negative sorry this is your rise 
your rise is negative. So rise is from 3 to 0. So your rise is minus 3. And what's your run? Your run is to the right, so it's positive. Run is always positive. Your run can be, run is generally positive. It can be, it can be negative. The run is 2 to the right. Okay, so your gradient is rise over run. Your rise is minus 3 over 2. Okay, so this equation can also be written, this equation can also be written as y is equal to minus 3 over 2x plus 3. Okay, just by looking at the graph I can say the equation can also be written like this. So let, let us try to write this in terms of this. So this I've tried, I've written from the graph, but now algebraically to, you can write the same thing. So let me write 2y plus 3x is equal to 6. So can I say 2y is 6 minus 3x. So dividing all by, if I divide this by 2, you can divide this by 2 this by 2. So y is equal to 3 minus 3 over 2x. And that's what I wrote. Uh, that is y is equal to minus 3 over 2x plus 3. Okay, but just looking at the graph, you can see that this has a run of, sorry, rise of negative 3. Why negative 3? Because it's going down. Okay, so this is a rise and rise is down, so it's negative. And run is to the right, so it's positive. Okay, so this is how you can graph simple uh, equation of a line.